Now to signs of significant progress for two potential coronavirus vaccines. This is encouraging news. Moderna and Pfizer both started large-scale trials yesterday, the first in the U.S. out of more than 150 vaccines in development. About two dozen are already being tested on humans. Meg Oliver is outside a Moderna testing center in New Jersey. Meg, we are all waiting and hoping for good news here. Good morning to you. Good morning, Gail. A readout from Moderna's phase three trial could come by November, so there is a chance a vaccine could be ready by the end of the year. Volunteers have started receiving either the vaccine or a placebo in this blind study that experts hope could finally bring this coronavirus pandemic under control. It seems quite possible that we may very well have results by November or December, maybe possibly a little earlier. National Institutes of Health Director Dr. Francis Collins has high hopes for the vaccine his agency developed with Moderna and says 30,000 volunteers are being chosen based on their risk of exposure. They'll be in areas where the virus is still spreading. We will see whether any of them actually get sick. Dr. Hannah El Saleh, one of only three Moderna principal investigators overseeing the 89 test sites, says if the vaccine can work in over half the volunteers, it would be a major step to protecting the entire country. I've seen some modeling around what level of immunity is needed, and the modeling places it at somewhere between 50 and 60 percent herd immunity. Pfizer's late-stage trial announced Monday will also include 30,000 participants in 39 U.S. states, as well as Brazil, Germany, and Argentina. Both vaccines use a piece of RNA genetic code, which tells the cells in the body to make a safe, modified version of the viral protein. That triggers an immune response to fight the virus. TV anchor Dawn Baker from her Savannah, Georgia affiliate got the very first dose of the Moderna vaccine Monday morning. I got tired of just sitting here worried that I can't do any more than wear a mask and try to stay away from people. It's good to know that I could be a part of what could be the ultimate solution. But even if a vaccine is approved and available, there's some question as to how many would take it. A CBS News poll on Monday showed only 30% of adults would get a vaccine as soon as possible. 50% would consider it or wait to see what happens, and 20% say they'd never get one. CBS News medical contributor Dr. David Agus says the usual financial and regulatory hurdles were pushed aside when it came to the development of a COVID vaccine. We've compressed it all into an amazing time period because we need it, because there was no choice. This is a war on our soil, and we have to respond. Top health officials, including Dr. Anthony Fauci, stress no measures are being cut in the development of any of these vaccines. Dr. David Agus says all safety protocols are being followed except one, long-term studies, and that's simply because we need the vaccine now. Anthony? Yeah, we sure do, Meg. Thank you very much.